Hello and welcome to the Battlefield Top Plays. In today's episode, we've got a selection of really awesome clips. Hopefully you enjoyed that first clip, an absolutely incredible barrel roll with a kill from Ghost29211. Now we are going to have quite a few sniping clips in today's episode. I've tried to bunch them up, but as you can tell, it's not a sniping only episode. That though was a very satisfying triple collateral with the boys AT rifle from Psycho Social. Moving on, it's Black Scorpion 87 with yet another triple collateral out of nowhere on Devastation of Rotterdam. I don't know what it is about sniping in Battlefield 5, but for me, it is very satisfying to see. And this clip from Prophet RKS is exactly that, with the collateral through the smoke, incredibly rare stuff. It's not something you see a whole lot on Battlefield 5 because you don't have that sweet spot that you had in BF1, so you quite often need to get the headshots to get these really awesome blind collaterals. The next one from Profit is going to be on Rotterdam. Again, a sniping clip with a surprise triple. This episode is of course sponsored by Instant Gaming. Again, you can check out the link down below in the description if you're after some cheap games. I'll also be looking to do a few more giveaways in the future if you guys are up for that. The chance to win some pretty cool games. I'll be linking that on Twitter and in a future Top Plays episode too. Moving on, we have two clips from Ascend Savon. The first one is going to be on Narvik. He's pushing through with the Lee Enfield going for a really satisfying back rage these back rages are never as interesting as when the players are shooting back but nonetheless it's testament to his good positioning with a very accurate clip The second clip is again with the Lien field. This time we're going to be on Mercury, a map that provides great opportunities for sniping clips. This one starts out with an accurate headshot and then he moves on to all of the camping enemies on the hill, as you'll often find shooting from this alpha objective towards the hillside here. There's loads of prone players, there's loads of bipodders and snipers, and Savon makes light work of all of them. Marcelo's getting himself a really lucky shot on Hamada. Nicky Boy is next up, and look at where he finds himself on the roof on Panzerstorm. Not a conventional position, but it is working for him as he rips through the enemy team with his Lien field. Next up, it's one of my favorite Battlefield players at the minute. It's Maxique. This guy is a beast, and this is going to be an incredibly beastly clip. Now, you'll notice that not only does he have good aim, right, as I say that he did miss a shot, but makes up for it with that headshot. The thing that's so impressive about him is the fact he's calm all the time. He never panics, and he always gets himself in a superior position to the enemy players, and that is what you need to be doing in Battlefield 5. I suppose as a bit of a quick tip, if you're ever on a map like this, Aerodrome, look how he's managed to get himself to the side in a flanking route. He clears out the weakness of his position, which is just in front of him there, gets that headshot in, and then starts to set to work on these other players that have very limited cover. Red five. Oh, ah, oh, that was not a headshot. Ah, oh, really, guys? Really? 
That was not a headshot. Are you kidding me? Was that not a headshot? Yo, what up, uh, JMac? Despair, mate. Another sniping clip. We've had a lot of them in today's episode already. And check it out. A triple collateral on Twisted Steel. Moving on to a vehicle clip from Ben Overman, he manages to get two planes taken out of the sky in quick succession. Damn! Hey, two. Got them both! Damn! Camper Sandwich, again, playing on a RAS in a tank. Two planes, the first blitzed out of the sky, almost got a double with that first shot, which would have been insanely cool, but never mind, he'll take out the second one with a casual snipe. Huang Mufei is next. This is going to be a grenade on a plane. You don't see it too often in Battlefield 5. We saw it a lot more in BF1. Awesome nonetheless. Moving on is Huya TV, and this is going to be a Tommy Gun clip pushing through the underside of Rotterdam. Look at that icon above the screen. I quite enjoy the fact that DICE have introduced this with Battlefield 5 straight from the beginning. It was in BF1 as well, but it's really nice to see who's actually on the flag so you can get in there and really understand what you're going to come up against, at least have some idea. As you can tell, he's killed a load of players and it really hasn't changed. In fact, it has become more populated with enemy players and he actually manages to get 16 kills in this amazing clip. Moving on, it's the rush shot, and he's going to be playing on Rotterdam. This is the first of three clips that he sent in. I've included them all because I always enjoy watching them, and this one is very nice as he gets three players taken out and then takes his time to hit the headshots, and he makes it count with this M28. Oh no, I ran out of bullets. Oh, look at the map. <laughs> Moving on, a similar position once again on Rotterdam. Uses the throwing knife to get that beacon taken out. Makes his way up the stairs. These enemies should be ashamed of themselves. None of them turn around. Easy kills. Nothing too special about that. But next, he does really have his work cut out as there are a lot of enemy players here. Needs to make use of everything he has to take them down in this aggressive sniping clip. Still spawn. We gotta be careful with that. What are you doing, bro? Get out. Mike! Mike, help me! <laughs> Am I dead? Yeah. Finally, a clip on Aerodrome. This one, as he pushes up towards Alpha, is a bit of the opposite sort of position that we usually see, as he's attacking the objectives, and it does show you that it can be done, even if your team isn't pushing that aggressively. A lot of players taken down, incredibly accurate stuff. The guy building the fortifications gets domed. A proner gets taken out as well. A really satisfying clip with the car 98 k Moving on, we have a close quarters infantry clip from Infected. Playing on Devastation of Rotterdam, this is your typical cluster moment on Alpha. Now, he's got to be careful because he doesn't have the ideal gun for CQB. I would suggest really using something along the lines of a Suomi or potentially a Tommy gun. But he does have the throwing knife, and that's what comes in useful here against these enemy players that could potentially have found themselves in a blind enemies episode. A load of kills, a load of points on an objective capped virtually entirely by the enemy team. Yo, I'm clipping that! 
thanks for watching if you did enjoy let me know in the comments leave a like it really helps the video if you do leave a like on it and again leave a comment for maybe what you enjoyed most or your favorite clip or something like that if you have any clips yourself send them into battlefieldtopplays at gmail.com thanks for watching and i'll catch you in the next episode Alma's still alive.